this is a very hot desert where there is less of water and this is a very cold country where water has converted into ice. So in both the conditions, there is a shortage of free water. So plants cannot take up the free water from the soil. So these plants have to adapt themselves to reduce the excessive transpiration because they need to retain as much water as possible in their body. Now, what are the various adaptations that these plants do? Let us look into it. Now, first of all, to reduce the rate of transpiration, the number of stomata has to be reduced. For that, xerophytic plants present in the deserts reduce their leaves into these needle-like spines. If the leaf size decreases, then there will be less number of stomata. So there will be reduced transpiration in these plants. And there will be availability or retainment of maximum water in their body which they need. Now what about these plants that are present in extremely cold climate and do not get free water because all the water has converted into ice. Well, these plants shed their leaves. So if the leaves are shed, the number of stomata will automatically decrease and so there will be reduced transpiration. These plants that shed their leaves are known as deciduous trees. Deciduous trees shed their leaves twice a year. So deciduous trees shed their leaves and they, that this is their way of reducing the rate of transpiration. Now what about the evergreen plants that are present in these cold climates? They cannot shed their leaves. So what do they do? Well, well, they decrease their leaf surface area into needle-like structures. So automatically, if the surface area of the leaves decrease, there will be decreased number of stomata and so there is reduced transpiration. So spine formation in xerophytic plants in the deserts, shedding of leaves in the deciduous plants present in the cold climates as well as the reduced surface area of leaves in evergreen trees of the same climate are the various adaptations that plants take to reduce the rate of transpiration and to retain as much water possible in their body. Now what about the plants that are evergreen but have bigger leaves. This is an evergreen plant. So it won't shed its leaf. It has a big surface, so it will have a lot of stomata. So how do they adapt themselves? Well, these evergreen equatorial plants have a thick waxy layer on their epidermis, which is known as the cuticle. The cuticle covers the stomatal openings on the epidermis. So if stomatal openings are covered, then stomatal transpiration that takes about 80 to 90 percent of the total transpiration is covered and is reduced. But some amount of transpiration does take place from the cuticles, but it is in a very limited amount. So this cuticle helps in and it prevents the excessive loss of water from the leaves through transpiration. So these thick cuticles causes 
reduced transpiration in these evergreen plants. Now plants that do not have a cuticle, now how do they uh, reduce their rate of transpiration? Well, plants like nerium, they have sunken stomata, that is their stomata is sunken and is covered with a lot of hair. See, these fine fibrous structures are hair that cover the stomatal opening. So, these hairs, they trap the vapor that is trying to come out of the stomata. So, there is a lot of humidity that forms in this place. And we have already studied that with increase in humidity, the rate of transpiration decreases. So, because there is increased humidity in these sunken stomata, the rate of transpiration decreases and this is the way these plants adapt themselves to prevent transpiration. Now, plants that do not have sunken stomata have folded leaves, like in this plant known as the Hindu rope. Now, they have folded leaves that have stomata. So the stomata gives out water vapor that gets trapped in these foldings of the leaf. So the humidity increases in these foldings and automatically the rate of transpiration will decrease with the increase in humidity in these foldings. So this is another adaptation in which plants like Hindu rope, they prevent excess amount of water being lost from their body. So these are the various adaptations like the spine formation in xerophytic plants, shedding of leaves in deciduous plants, reduced surface area in evergreen cold country trees, waxy leaves in equatorial uh, climate plants that have a broad leaf surface, sunken stomata in plants like nerium, and finally folded leaves in plants like Hindu rope are the various adaptations by which plants reduce the rate of transpiration.